Next topic we are going to learn is pancreatitis. So let's talk about pancreatitis. Talking about pancreatitis, right? Inflammation of pancreas. The main cause are one is gold stones. Gold stones. Other one is what? The alcohol. Can be also caused by hyper triglyceridemia. Hyper triglyceridemia. Where you can see sandomas. Sandomas can be observed. Can be rarely it can be due to scorpion bite. Right? Scorpion sting. Those are some of the causes of what? Uh, pancreatitis and some drugs can also cause it, right? Okay. Or some procedures like uh, ERCP for biliary pathology. This all can cause uh, pancreatitis. The patient will be coming with an epigastric pain radiating to the back. Epigastric pain radiating to back. Like it's a positional pain, like it can be relieved by what? Leaning forward. The pain relieved by leaning forward. Patient will have symptoms of like nausea or vomiting or patient will be complaining of anorexia. Right. They can't. For diagnosing, we can do the blood test. We'll see lipase is three much more into three more, three much more than the normal level. That is the main like marker, best marker for what pancreatitis. Then amylase also will be what high. Amylase also will be increased. The best marker will be lipase. Now there are some signs and symptoms that will be positive for pancreatitis. One is called Cullen sign. Cullen sign positive. You will see some umbilical ecchymosis in the umbilical area. Or if you see the same thing on the flank, we call it as Turner's sign. On flanks, two sides of abdomen, we see the flanks. That will be like so. Uh, they are positive, Cullen sign positive and Turner sign positive what? Pancreatitis. Now, I remember one more that is not that much high yield, like you will have pain in Mayoropsin point. Painful Mayoropsin point will be painful. Next one, so that's about how you diagnose, how the patient come, you confirm it, right? Treatment what we do? We will ask the patient like not to feed anything by orally for like around five to seven days, maybe like one week till the patient is back from what the pain and other thing. And for pain management, we can give what? Ah, painkillers of course we'll be giving IV fluids to the patient so this is how we'll be managing pancreatitis exactly same now if you don't treat the pancreatitis we can have different complications complications one of the important one is they can cause us hypocalcemia hypocalcemia then, like hypocalcemia, this is like an early complication. Early means around one to three days. Along with the patient can have ascites, right? Then, they will have something called ARDS, uh, acute respiratory distress symptom, problem with, there will be increased permeability of capillaries permeability of capillaries mm -hmm. 
right? Then next complication that will happen that is called like you know DIC disseminated intravascular coagulation. It's like around uh, mid mid week it was in early uh, like one to three weeks it will happen. Here you can see cystiocytes if you remember cystiocytes cells there will be decrease in pH increase in INR they are D-dimer positive so it's severe that sepsis will be present here right sepsis so it means you remember the criteria SERS positive it will be SERS positive next one remember that is a late complication after four to seven weeks patient can have something called pseudocyst pseudocyst formation if pseudocyst is less than six centimeter no issue less than six centimeter just wait and watch observe if more than six centimeter or they are growing you have to drain the cyst drain it or do surgery or remove it now how we understand how much complicated is the pancreatitis we have a criteria called uh, Ransom's criteria Ransom's criteria remember a mnemonics here goldstone we know right and ETOH goldstone G here means the glucose is more than 200 the blood if the age is more than then L4 the WBC count more than 16 then L4 if LDH more than 350 as well as uh, like one more L we can add goldstone right like enzymes liver enzymes that is LFT that means AST is more than 250 then E4 the electrolyte here calcium less than 8 T4 here like the kidney function uh, it will be like blood urea nitrogen remember like that it is more than right more than 25 O4 oxygen less than 60 that is oxygen saturation then H4 here hematocrite decreased hematocrite or there is a fall more than falls more than 10 percentage so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right so like we will count each we will be counting each one and we will give a point if the point is between point is between 3 to 4 it means the patient have 20 percentage mortality rate 20 percentage mortality if the point is between the point is between 5 they got 5 to 6 point it means the patient have a mortality rate of like double around 40 percentage mortality rate from Ransom's criteria the point is more than 7 it means sure the patient is going to die 100 percentage mortality so that will make sure like how to treat the patient in all day ICU or how you manage the patient the severity of pancreatic can be like uh, noted by the Ransom's criteria so make sure you understood how you diagnose it how you manage them right then what are the complications early and mid and late complication that's all about what pancreatitis